Alright, so recording this uh, March 6, 2024, the night after Super Tuesday. I mean, the race is over. We knew it's over the word go, but now it's over. Uh, Trump pretty much sweeps, well, I think what? Nikki Haley won one state, or two, two states, uh, Vermont and Washington, D.C. Oh, no, that, this was last week. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, Vermont. So, Trump v. Biden 2 is upon us. And um, I guess the only question here is, on my end, is will Nikki Haley kiss the ring? Will she endorse Donald Trump? That's the only thing I want to see. Because she obviously made the furthest of anybody else in that field, um, in terms of the primary. Um, she certainly was probably the outside of Chris Christie, the most aggressive against Trump uh, when it came to just uh, the pushback. I would argue not aggressive enough. She played closer to the to the field, closer to uh, I was going to say kowtowing because I, I think that's not right. But she did. I don't think she pushed enough back on Trump in the same way Chris Christie did. Like, if you're going to be doing this, if you're going to run for president, you know, and especially your president support rising as Donald Trump, you got to go all in. You can't half-ass it. That's why I never understood, you know, watching Ron DeSantis' campaign, watching all the other other uh, folks that went by the wayside as the months went on. Like, what's the point? If you're not going to go all in and try to take this guy down, then why are you fucking running? Why are you even bothering trying to run? That, that That's what always got me. You know, Ron DeSantis being the worst one, probably the most egregious one. You know, yes, he he he. The one issue that he pushed back on Trump consistently on on during his campaign was how COVID, how COVID happened, and and, and the handling of COVID. Okay, cool, because that's that's like the only thing he has that 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 he can use against Trump. Because other than that, <clears throat> him and Trump, him and Trump are pretty much on the same, you know, line by line on the same on the, the same pretty much. Which then, you know, as a voter, I'm not, I'm not a Republican voter, but I'm a Republican voter, I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, well, <clears throat> you're not an alternative. What's the point of voting for you if, if like, you're, you're giving me the same shit that Trump does? If you're going after Trump, if you're going against Trump, you got to go th- against him through and through. You got to be consistent. You got to, you got to be, for, you know, feet to the fire. That's why, that's why I respect Chris Christie for doing what he did. You know, he was very staunch in, in his in belief that Donald Trump is a, a uh, a threat to our democracy. Now, is that true? I don't know. Um, we, we use that those words all the time, quite often. Although I'll say, in Donald Trump's case, it has certainly stretched the parameters of where that could be an argument. You know, first when, Janu- when you have January sixth on on the table, but that's the hero there. But it's reality. Is Nikki Haley gonna kiss the ring? That's all I want to know. She's gonna kiss the ring. My 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 uh, my prediction is that she will. A lot of folks think she won't. A lot of people think, think she'll go third party. I think she'll, she'll support Joe Biden, obviously, but she'll probably go third party. Maybe support like the, the no party, the no Labour party. It was a guy. It's a complete fucking joke. I know there's a thirst for a, th- uh, a third and fourth party in this country, and believe me, I'm there with you. I think more ideas at the table is better. More parties at the table is better. You know, I think having a two-party duopoly is as a, a problem. But Joe Manchin ain't ain't it. <laughs> Joe Manchin ain't it. I rather vote Libertarian or Green Party before those before, before those uh those uh those jokers. Period. Um. But yeah, it's it's a wrap. Super Tuesday's a wrap. Trump dominates. So now the question becomes this: Does Nick Haley kiss the ring? And where do we stand now? As we officially are Trump versus Biden now for the next six months, seven months rather, um, where do we stand? And all we have is data right now. And the data I'm, I'm reading based on last night's results, because Joe Biden did win also the primaries, so, so the primaries for one, American Samoa, um, which of course is, you know, come on now. And those numbers are very telling that there is definitely a lot of people who are not at this point right now, and that's going to change in months to come, that are very concerned Joe Biden, whether it's his age, 
his handling of the of uh, the economy, which okay, again, some folks say that the economy's doing great, and the numbers, but the metrics that we all use based on what we always have to sell with our presidents is that it is doing well, but again, it may not be translating to the uh, normal middle class voters who don't feel it in the gas pumps, or don't feel it in grocery stores, or whatnot. So again, perceptions, reality, right? Um, and then you also have the the, 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 the issue that I think said may cost the election is, is the issue in Gaza, where his own people who voted for 2020, Democrats, are furious with his handling of, of, of the uh, of that issue. Now, again, this doesn't mean he's going to vote for Trump. Oh, they're going to vote for Trump, rather. But what this sets up now is if you are able to, you know, to limit the voting... Because I, I always say this, and this is, this is, the numbers speak for itself. If every voter voted based on their party alignment, Democrats would win, win every election moving forward. The problem is, though, is that with these swing states and and with all this stuff, you know, you saw we have examples of when turnout is bad for Democrats, it's it's a massive problem. Twenty sixteen is a pure example of that with, with Hillary Clinton. We saw Hillary Clinton win. You know, she she still won a popular vote, but turnout in certain states was not good, and it gave Trump an edge. So, what do you do with that? And I, I, I'm getting the vibes now that this could this can be 2016 over again. However, this is a big wild card. If this was another. Look, if this election was, if this was a normal Republican candidate on the other side against Joe Biden, Joe Biden would be fucked three times to midnight. Joe Biden would be absolutely fucked. But it's not. It's Donald Trump. And we, you know, online 2016, we have felt what a Donald Trump presidency looks like. Now, some love it, some hate it. So, again, it, it, it depends on your own perception and perspective of where you stand and where, where your politics lie. So it, that, that depends. So, in some ways, Donald Trump being in the race is actually a good thing for Joe, for Joe Biden, even as the polls suggest that Trump would beat him right now. But Donald Trump again is a big wild card because of his legal issues. Obviously, we, we talked about many times over because of uh, also the fact that his rate poll rising in general. Is there enough distaste from moderates and independents about, on, on Donald Trump? Again, despite everything else going around, is there a desire to people who might vote with Donald Trump but don't like the guy, so they'll vote with Joe Biden instead? That's the question. We don't know that. And that's something we're going to learn in the months to come. And there's so much time ahead of us now that there's going to be, there's going to be gaps, gaps city between both these guys. There'll be gaps across the board between Trump and Biden. The question is going to be, which one is able to sell to disgruntled voters that I'm your guy for another four years? That's the question. So, all right, get, gear up, guys. <laughs> we, we are uh, officially Trump versus Biden now. Nikki Haley dropped on the race. Well, that's the rumor, is that she's officially just spending her campaign. And I guess, like I said, I want to I I know two things. If those numbers on uncommitted for Joe for uh, in Democrat Pat primary are going to hurt Biden moving forward and will Nikki Haley kiss the ring it's a lot to unpack there and uh, we'll be here on this podcast on my regular podcast or week podcast discussing the, uh, discussing this election upcoming election this is going to be front and center on the show on all my platforms well mainly this this one and the Earthquake podcast so gear up man it's going to be a crazy insane seven months.